Here's your mic. Shit. What'd you knock over? Motherfucking fuck! <laughs> okay. So it's freaking freezing in here, Mr. Pippins. It's fucking straight. Freaking freezing fuck piss. Can they even hear it? Should be able to. We'll play it back! I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been looking forward to this cigar all fucking day. Let me tell you what I did last night. Let me pause the video first. Uh, fuck, is it on? Can you tell? Shit. What the fuck? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This podcast has went from serious... God damn, it broke the fucking chair. Fuck. It's went from seriousness to mental retardation. God. Damn it! Very quickly. It's a... Uh, Shield your pupils. Fuck. I know. I'm trying to, I can't even see the camera. There it goes. Start to drop it. Let me tell you something. Oh, God. Here we are again doing this shit. Broadleaf. Yeah. My God. It's all right. The echo in here. What is this? What do we smoke? It's the Broadleaf, the what? ACE. Well, you've got to explain it to people so they know. This is called the ACE. It's a Broadleaf with a nickel argon fill. Is that that bottle? No. Okay. Don't kick it. I was like, how, no. how are you kicking that? Don't kick it. I'm not kicking no. that. There's be a, a CS gas grenade rolling around the floor right now. With the pen out. It just hasn't actually gone off yet. Let me tell you something. It was like this. <laughs> wow. Just blew my fucking eardrums out. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Just blew my vocal cord out. <laughs> well, there was a tumor on my vocal cord. <laughs> not. not anymore. Killed it with sound therapy. Definitely not. Well, All right. What? Go ahead. Sorry. Welcome. Anyways. To the welcome to this. <laughs> what? Welcome to the podcast. If you are here for the first time, it's probably your last time. We're going to have some interesting people on. We uh, secured some deals actually next week. We're going to have a guy on. Pretty cool. Yeah. I'll let him reveal himself. <clears throat> Fuck out. Okay, so go ahead and, and, and talk. Do something. Entertain um, people. Um, hi, uh, I'm Travis with Cigar Devour, one of the owners. And uh, I'd like to tell people what I do in my free time. What I like to do in my free time is I like to go walk out my backyard. Uh, never mind. Go on. Nope. I'm just going to stop. Um, I am not proficient in anything. Uh, the only thing I'm halfway good at is annoying people and uh, offending people. And uh, I'm proud of that. I'm not ashamed of it. So, and I do offer my services. Uh, if you would like someone annoyed to the point of insanity, please give me a call. <laughs> Mm. 
This is such an amazing cigar. The Ace. Aged eight years? Eight year aging. Eight years of age. Aged eight years of age. Yeah. It's awful. I don't want to ever hear that again. You're the one that took it the wrong way, you <laughs> fucking weirdo. No, not like that. I didn't even no, take no, it. No, 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 no. You know, we had a beautiful tablecloth before three weeks ago. We did. Now there's like shit and stains and ash and, and ass. Holes and... Huh. Anyway. All right. So we're about to get breached. So we had an event on Wednesday yeah. at El Dorado and Rockwall, and it was fantastic. The belligerency. It was on a different level. It was outstanding. I, uh, oh God. I, uh, drank heavily. And, uh, Harassed people to the point that they enjoyed it. <clears throat> so, what are we going to talk about today? Um, we're going to talk about cigars. Mm. I like cigars. Yes. And then we're going to talk about. The event. Kind of like stationary, the smoke is. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we're going to talk about how stationary the smoke is. Mm. And, uh, we're we're going to talk about our plans for this holiday season. We're going to talk about the. Oh, yeah. What we got going. Um, we <clears throat> did the event at El Dorado Rockwall uh, this past Wednesday, which was a great event. Uh, good people came out, <clears throat> smoked a lot of cigars, mm. drank a lot of whiskey, and uh, enjoyed it greatly. And then um, we just met some really good people, some really cool people. Yeah. And, uh, uh, we are also doing an event at his, the Eldorado McKinney, the McKinney location, at December 10th. It's their Christmas party. Yes. Looking forward to that. So, <clears throat> in case people are unfamiliar with our cigars as we are gaining popularity on our stream, uh, please hang on a second. Travis uh, has malfunctioned. <laughs> yeah, so a little bit about us. Um, this is We Are Cigars of Valor. I'm Travis. This is Ryan. We both own it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Nobody of higher intelligence owns this no, company. It's just us. It's just this meocracy. Yeah. And um, I'm prior law enforcement, and uh, that's where we kind of got the name from. Is and I'm a, a prior idiot. Prior? Current. Well, I just wanted to sound cool. Yeah, yeah, you did. And um, so we got the name from my uh, past in law enforcement because uh, we wanted to gear cigars of valor towards helping those who have served our country, both <coughs> law enforcement, military, firefighters. <clears throat> and that's why our cigars, if you see the cigars with the red labels, they're named after levels of concealment. Mm -hmm. Such as concealment, cover, and so on and so on. If you see them with the green label, they are named after special operations groups in our United States military. Yep. So we try to stick with that theme. We try to stick uh, with uh, any way that we can show our support to them, such as this one. This is the ACE, which is Army Compartmentalized Elements, which we all know is Delta, uh, which is the U.S. Army is counterterrorism. 
unit, and they are <coughs> badass. The other real popular one is the frog. Is the frog, <clears throat> and that's the green one. Mm -hmm. And that one's up for the seals, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Frogman. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> we got uh, we smoked the other day the raider. Yeah, we, we smoked the raider the other day, which is named after the Marine Corps Raiders, uh, which uh, they were a unit back in the day in the Marines, and they are currently, uh, it was Marsoc, and I believe they changed the name to the Raiders. And uh, so we Didn't we have support. a guy we talked to at El, El Dorado? Oh, not El Dorado, uh, in Fuego. Was he a part of the Raiders? Or was no, he... there was a guy that was a uh, Green Beret. <laughs> Vietnam. That's pretty awesome. It's really back cool. before the before they really grew. I was like, mm. you know, okay. there, there was a term for them as a group. I can't remember the name, but yeah, it's amazing who you meet at cigar lounges. Yeah, honestly, lots of people. <clears throat> so, a part of the first series that came out. There was the uh, the veil. Or the veil. What's the blend on that one? The veil is a Maduro San Andres wrapper with a Nicaraguan and Dominican blend as a filler. And what did uh, what was the community's take on that one? Uh, when we first came out with that, it kind of surprised people because of how. The lack of a better term, from what I've heard from people, it's strong. It's a strong cigar. Mm -hmm. um, the comments I've heard on that cigar is uh, now that I've had a full, now that I have a full smell, I go, I'll smoke the veil on the end of shit like that. And it's a stout cigar, don't get me wrong. It has a lot of spice to it, a lot of pepper in it. and uh, But it's great flavor, fantastic flavor. It's hard to think from like a Connecticut, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> you can't let Connecticut kick, spoil you though. Kicks your ass, you know? Like you'd think that that was, and it's classified as our most mild, you know? Mm -hmm. Like it's just funny. <clears throat> it just all comes down to your palate. Uh, some people find Connecticut's can be very mild, some find them, they, they can taste pepper in them somehow. I don't fucking know. Everyone's palate's different. I found that. Honestly, uh, for a long time, I shied away from Maduro's because I thought they would be, you know, really strong. And, and these, are, these are more mild than the Connecticut's. Like, in, in a sense, like, there, there are some Connecticut's that are very mild. But, like, I, I find that Maduro's are easier to smoke for me than Connecticut's. Yeah, it, it all comes down to what's inside the cigar. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, our Connecticut, uh, the concealment, which is our first Connecticut, it's a uh, Connecticut wrapper, but it has a Dominican filler. Yeah. So it's going to be on the, the on the mild side. Uh, but some people, they, for some reason, they catch spice out of it. I think they catch spring. Yeah, I smoked it that one time and it was spicy. Mm. It's interesting. It's cool. And then uh, we also have the cover, which is. A Cameroon wrapper with a Nicaraguan filler. It's a good so one. So everyone knows <clears throat> Cameroon to have almost like a sweet molasses note to it, and then you pair it with the Nicaraguan filler, so you get a little bit of spice. Uh, fan fantastic blend. Mm -hmm. uh, great pair. And then uh, the El Prez, that's the one that kind of started it all, was the El Prez. It's a Churchill with a Nicaraguan Maduro wrapper with a Nicaraguan binder with a Dominican Nicaraguan filler. So, yeah, it's almost like a dark chocolate espresso note. It's fantastic. When we first started trying out cigars to put on the line, he brought me the El Perez. And uh, I was smoking it, and I was like, wow. Like, that was... Uh, it, at the point, <clears throat> at that point, because, I mean, we haven't had... We didn't have the broad leaf designed yet mm -hmm. and out and things like that which you know changed my favorite but the el perez was my favorite like that was such a good cigar and um <clears throat> slowly over time we've just been yeah travis mainly has been uh, doing the blends and and getting all this together and getting 
all of it looking good. And, and uh, I mean, he really knows his lines. Done some studying. It's a lot of YouTube. Yeah, so um, thankfully, he's got some good studying going on and then came out with the Broadleaf recently. Uh-huh. And uh, whew, this thing is, that was a damn good cigar. Yeah. Was- it was so good that it was selling out and didn't you give it to El Dorado as kind of like a, a test? You're like, hey, let me know. I gave it to the owner saying, hey, let me know what you think. And then a week later, he calls me, I want a bundle for myself. <laughs> yeah. 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 But if you ever want to spruce up your knowledge on tobacco, it doesn't matter if it's cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobacco. There's a book called the Tobacconist University Handbook, and I have one. Um, when I first got hired on with the first cigar shop I ever worked at, which was Calypso, which is no longer around, mm-hmm. um, the owner made me sit down and read that my first week there. And uh, after I read it, he quizzed me on it. And the knowledge you gain out of that little handbook is just on a different level. What was it called? The Tobacconist University Handbook. Um, you check it out. They're a little pricey, or they used to be. I haven't checked the price in a while. Mm-hmm. But fantastic uh, resource for knowledge. There may be an audio book on YouTube or something. I don't know. I haven't checked. No, I'll you know, read it. Yeah, you do. No, I meant like on YouTube. Oh, I was say. Yeah, you an audio book. But you need, you need to read it. Anyway. I was in all of it. I didn't know about it. I watched that uh, Oscar, was it Oscar from Seed to Leaf or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Davidoff has one. A video series? Oh, is that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, that was process. really good. Yeah, the, fan, it's, it's, <clears throat> the, the internet is a great resource for uh, knowledge and information regarding cig- cigars, pot tobacco, cigarettes, mm-hmm. anything like that. Um, but there's some really good books out there as well. And in fact, you can go become a certified tobacconist through the Tobacconist University. You read that handbook, you go on their website, you can take quizzes and get and go through the different levels and you can get certified. Sure. And you're noted in a registry throughout the nation or throughout the world that you're a tobacconist. How do you do that? I think that's pretty badass. That's awesome. But yeah, um, kind of lost our place. What's in the frog? So many people ask all the time, but, you know, they look at the frog and they're like, what is this? You know, like, I haven't seen this. Uh, the frog is a candela wrapper with a Nicaraguan filler. So what's special about a candela wrapper is it's obviously green. And, um, but all it is, it's a Connecticut wrapper that's been flash cured. It's been cured very rapidly. And how they do it? And uh, they basically take the plant or the leaves, hang them upside down in a barn, light a big ass fire in the middle of it and close the doors <laughs> and it builds up heat in that barn and flash cures it and what it does is it locks in the pigmentation and oils that are lost in the natural curing process so it locks in different flavors um, and as far as um, the fastest way to smoke a cigar from the soil to a rolled cigar that is it because they don't ferment it Nothing. They ate. They just cure it. They age it a little bit, and then they roll it. So, <clears throat> um, explain. So the the frog is a Connecticut. Yeah, it's, it's been flash cured. It's a Connecticut that's flash cured. So, what are the what is like the flavor differences between the Connecticut? You know, just let's say just the most common Connecticut, and that. Well, I say the Candela. <laughs> you get more of a floral note out of it when a uh, traditional Connecticut, you get almost like a sweet, creamy note. Yeah. It's interesting. I did notice when I when I smoked it, it was a, kind of a floral, earthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of, which uh, is a fantastic. Mm-hmm. It had a, a lot of sweetness to it. Yeah, it's uh, the Connecticut. They're mm-hmm. known for that. And I'll tell you, uh, it's, it's a really popular cigar, and uh, a lot of people really enjoy that. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, one of my favorites. Hmm. So, on uh, the next on the list was the Raider, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we're kind of jumping between the new series and the old series. We're not really staying in line. Uh, the Raider is a uh, Sumatra wrapper with a Dominican, Nicaraguan, Peruvian filler. 
uh, tobacco in there has been aged a little bit longer. It's been aged about six, seven years. So it gives it a little bit more strength. Uh, it's offered in a Toro. Uh, so you get a nice ratio of the wrapper with the binder and the filler. So it's, it's a little bit on the stout side, a little bit more on the, it's more medium full, but it leans more towards the full side. Uh, but it's really good flavor, a fantastic cigar. Yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> and then we got the, uh, what is one of the other guys? Um, the PJ. What? The PJ. PJ? Mm-hmm. That's part of the X-Field series. It's uh, named after their Air Force paratroopers, or paratroopers. We, we only call them the PJ. Yeah. Oh, is it not on the website or anything? Yeah, it is. It's on there. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. It's not called anything else? No, PJ. Damn, I really missed that. But it's named after the Air Force Parajumpers or pararescue. I thought it was called something else. Mm -hmm. We have the Night Stalker on there. Interesting. It's weird that I don't know that. Um, I'm weird on my part that I don't know that. That's really odd. Um, yeah, so what's in the PJ? It's a Corojo 99 wrapper. Oh, it's the Corojo 99. Yeah. Okay. okay. I good. thought, I guess, I thought we were naming this. Maybe I'm old, stuck on the old name or something. Yeah. It, <clears throat> yeah, the PJ. The name, named after the Pararescue Air Force. Did, were, was that the one we were going to name after the FBI hostage? Yeah. yeah, HRT, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, so I'm going to try that one sometime. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I got some. I'll give one to you. It's interesting because I haven't I haven't had a Corojo 99. It's fucking good. <clears throat> um, very good. Um, but we also <clears throat> have one called the Night Stalker. And then that one is a Connecticut wrapper, but with a Nicaraguan filler. Mm -hmm. And it's in a torpedo. Okay. It, good cigar, nice. Uh, mild to medium, but leans more towards the medium side. Uh, mainly because the Nicaraguan fill in there is it adds a little bit of spice, black pepper. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. And then the Bitch and Betty. Yeah, so we have a flavored cigar called the Bitch and Betty. And it's not like any flavored cigar that, that you know, you find everywhere. <clears throat> it's actually good. <laughs> it's an uh, Oscar wrapper. May, like many people are, are very impressed by it. They're like, I don't smoke flavored cigars at all, but this is actually really damn good. We need to push it a little more. Most shops, they're like, no, we don't even want to talk about that. Yeah, but it has a big online following. A lot of people. Yeah, actually, online. yeah, a lot of people buy it online. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Then, um, uh, what what did we not cover? Espionage. Yeah, we got that, and then there, I thought there was two more on the original series. Uh, there's the veil, cover, concealment. I think we have uh, uh, El Perez. Uh, the cover, yeah, the uh, Cameron. Okay, yeah. and what was the other one? The espionage we haven't touched yet. We haven't talked about I thought about. there was two more. There's the concealment, cover, veil, El Perez, espionage. Hmm. That brain damage or something. All right, so espionage. The espionage is... One of my favorite, just because, uh, just how unique it is. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. Is there even a cigar like that? Yeah, not that I'm aware of. That's, uh, and it's so fascinating. Yeah. So the Espionage is a Sumatra wrapper, but we have five different fillers in there, and we have it constructed in a way to where it changes flavors on you about every five to ten minutes. So it keeps you on your toes a little bit. Yeah, and it's uh, Nicaraguan, Ecuadorian, Honduras, Dominican, Peruvian, Dominican, yeah, Peruvian, and it's all in stages, like every couple minutes. Mm -hmm. It was like the first time we tried it. I don't, you remember Juan? Oh, we, we saw yeah, Juan. his his face. Was <laughs> yeah, <crazy>. he was. <laughs> that was mm -hmm. so funny. Which, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we need to bring them down. Yeah, absolutely. Minute. I'll have to bring them out for a weekend and let them come on the, the podcast and we'll show them our execution chamber. Yeah. 
that's funny when we described this room to the guy that we're bringing on next week, hopefully everything, I, I think we will, but uh, don't, don't want to get anyone's hopes up just in case. Yeah. Just, but he's, he said he was good and he's coming out this week. So, mm-hmm. or next week, um, I told him that it looks like a room that you could put a chair and then have battery terminals yeah. or a, let's just say jumper cables plugged into the wall. If you ever seen the movie casino, when he catches the guy cheating and he takes him in that back room <laughs> in the casino, there we go. That's what it's like. A big light garage door. We have a circular saw with a hammer. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Cheater's justice. Anyways. So December 10th, we're doing the Christmas party at El Dorado McKinney. Uh, the manager there requested us. Uh, the owner of El Dorado said, you could pick any vendor you want there. Which one would you want? And he said, Which cigars of Valor. I don't know what. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're cool, we're special, and people should come on this podcast. Well, he said that our cigars have developed a really big cult following up there. Are they really? Yeah. We haven't even heard from anyone. Well, we don't go up there very often. Yeah, no, we never, yeah, we never go there. I've been like twice in my life. Yeah, so we need to go in there more. I picked up a, a cigar there like five years ago, and then I went to the event. <laughs> that was the only <laughs> times I've ever been there. But uh, we'll go up there again. It's a good little store. Yeah, and then... Uh, are, we're going to talk to a few shops this weekend, or I am. He's going to be watching someone get wedded. Yeah. I didn't get invited. <clears throat> I didn't get invited. <laughs> Fuck. You can, you can go. But I mean, no, I'm good. <laughs> stand outside. Yeah. With a gun. And, exactly. And yeah, you can go. Just stand outside. I told Brittany I was going to wear my suit. Mm-hmm. And then wear my lapel, the Scars of Valor lapel, and then uh, walk around with an AK under my jacket. Hell yeah. All right. So, you know, I'm going to be very vague about this because I don't want to stir anything up in the real world. The person that we visited with earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. did some research on that yeah that, that situation I was telling you about mm-hmm. I found some stuff bad stuff bad stuff stuff that we probably shouldn't say probably shouldn't say it on here but I'm just letting you know and I'll talk to you about that in a little bit that's, uh, that's terrible yeah yeah so there's three sides to every story there's actually six we just don't know three of them there's their side, the other person's side, and the truth. Keep that in mind. That's weird. Sad, but weird. You know, mm-hmm. whatever. So, are we ever going to get Matt on? Is he ever going to come on? I'm sure he would love to. He's just, for good reasons, Stays away from us. They just had an officer get in trouble over some social media shit. Well, that was something really stupid. Yeah, but he just, it's all, there's a whole scare with that agency on social media. So uh, he well, would love to come on here, but uh, I'm not. Look, what, what we can do is we can say, or we can like flip the podcast around and make it just about how great that city is. And how good the dart station is, and what that did for the city to benefit it. No. So we can't what, do that. We'll just have them wear the no, sky. We, no, we could that. we could have it seriously, and like have where it's set up with all of us here, and we're just joking. You know, nothing serious. If anything said serious, yeah, we can edit it out. Maybe I forget to edit out like half the shit that we said. Yeah, no but, shit. You know, that's not the point here. The point is, I would do it for him. See, we the fucking point. The more controversial that we are, the more people like it. Yeah, but I don't want to be controversial at the expense of someone's career. That's what I'm saying. Not for him, though. I'll, I'll cut it out for him. I would never do that. I would never bring someone on and mess their career. That's fucked up. Well, if we didn't like them, sure. Yeah, if we'd bring them on and just really fuck them up. But. 
Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. No. Wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do that to him. I didn't deserve it. No, but it, uh, it's just like the humor and, and, and stuff. It's, it kind of fits sure, yeah. our stuff. So it's it's fun having other people on, especially like law enforcement, because it's, it, it's fun and in a proper way they can voice yeah, I think uh, have their voice out. what we could do is bring him on, just talk to him about cigars, ask him what got him started in cigars, which ones he likes, what, how he got into law enforcement, you know, all that good stuff. What's the craziest call he's been on? Uh, What's the least craziest? How many rounds has he put through the gun at the, at the training center? And uh, what's his favorite gun? Would he carry an RPG in his car? If he could? You sound like every single person I've ever encountered anywhere I've gone that have found out that I was a police officer. So have you ever carried an RPG in your car? No. Have you ever parachuted out of a plane on top of a speeding car? Actually, no. <laughs> Actually, this one time we were radar on the road in a Cessna and we landed on this truck. So you'd be like Vin Diesel and jump off the car onto the back of an 18 wheeler? No, what I do is I rappel from a Blackhawk straight through the windshield of the truck <laughs> at about 40 miles an hour and it kills me and the driver and causes a five car pile up on the highway. Okay, that just got funny and then dark. <laughs> Damn it. Anyways. In Let me tell you what I like to do in my free time. I like to pet my dogs. Dogs are cool. They are. Pooches. You know, I feel like after eight episodes, we have not improved. <laughs> well, I mean, no, because we just freehand all of these and just say. But that's what shit. makes us unique. Yeah, at least we can think independently. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I just, I just spout shit off. I just maybe not logically, but we can independently. I just say shit. Even if it's just absolutely stupid and asinine. That little fucking heater works. Yeah, I know. I thought those were just always like fake fireplaces. I didn't think they were an actual heater. No, it fucking works, dude. Like when I got in here, it was so cold that my nuts shriveled up in my abdomen. That's why I got my fucking hoodie. And then and like 30 minutes later, it's 70 fucking degrees in here. Mm -hmm. I'm and pretty sure there's condensation on the wall. You need to put it up in the back right here. It gives like... A mesmerizing feeling. Did you know, yeah. the, uh, did you know the, the fire is a uh, we can do it. Fire is a uh, like psychological. It, it it brings out a certain like brain wave. I can't remember exactly what it was. We specialize in psychological warfare. Yes, and we study it, even though I don't know any of the fucking words for it. We need to get really good at like one time little things, so I can cut the videos and make little shorts. Sure. Yeah, we can do that right now. We'll start right fucking now. You want a drink? A drink? No, thank you. Good. I am sober. Almost fell off the table. Ah! Does that thing even work? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'll come back an hour later. You can't even smell the smoke. Seriously? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. We were talking to that guy earlier, and we <laughs> every time we talked, mm -hmm. we would do the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the same time, That's I was like, crazy, Travis, man. I was like, Travis, if you give confirmation to him one more fucking time, <laughs> at the same time as me, I'm going to kill someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Is this the <some> more? <laughs>
I don't have another set of glasses. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason you didn't do it is because yeah. you have another set of glasses. Maybe I'll write a special occasion. I'll burn a hole through my glass. But where's the flame going to go after it burns a hole through your glasses? You know, I always feared is wearing a hat and lighting my cigar with a torch that it would like burn a hole through my hat. It adds character to the hat. It does. It really does. Uh, it makes you not want to wear it. The character is it never being touched again. Uh, I should have got that Stetson at the thrift store. There's no way a Stetson at a thrift store. Someone had to blow their fucking head off <laughs> that damn thing. And the dome part of their head was left in it. And they went, oh. And they moved We're just going to leave that in there. And they moved it and let it fall out. And they're like, God damn, I'm going to take this to the thrift store. Looks like a toupee. Oh, man. What an awful fucking image. Oh, God. Uh, so what else we got going? So our, our, my idea is that when we have a guest on here, although if we really do this, we will never have guests on here. I want to torture the shit out of them. Just, just fuck with them constantly. <laughs> Eric Andre. Like the Eric Andre show, yeah. He shoots the people on the set in front of that lady. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh, man, that's fantastic. I love that show. Damn. I mean, look at the smoke in here. Jesus, it's beautiful. If we ever get a, if we ever own a bar and we lost smoking in it, I want it to be like this all the time. You know, let me just say something. Fuck. When we get into dark humor, the law enforcement side that watches this completely understands us, and it's actually probably way less than anything they deal with on a daily basis. Oh, no, you have no fucking clue. Yeah, exactly. So it's probably way less, but I'm just saying that Travis has that dark sense of humor from his law enforcement career, so we kind of just blend, and it's funny, you know, so just joking around. And, uh, you know, we don't think dark thoughts. He, he definitely does, but, you know, um, just try to see it as a way to make light of situations. That being said... If anyone that watches this podcast, if there is anyone, I don't, I don't think there really is. I think just no. I'm convinced there's no one that watches this. <laughs> yeah, there's no. If one. there's really a human that watches this, comment and just say I watch this. There's no one commenting. No one commenting. All right, why? They don't even like it's it. It's a fucking scam. They don't even like it. So let me tell you something. Anyone. If you find that your mental health is very bad and uh, you need people to hang around that you can joke with and uh, talk and, yep. you know, both of us have been through things in life a little more than others, mm -hmm. um, then the general public. So if you need someone to talk to and relate to, we will joke around and uh, we got your back and we'll smoke cigars. Absolutely. Uh, execute and uh, I don't want to say any further. Um, but yes, just saying that we were always here to talk and uh, you know call us okay. or shoot us an email at team <laughs> at cigarsandpower.com yeah that's where they click off it's a click off right right there where we start saying team at so t-e-a-m at cigarsandpower.com it's team at cigarsandpower.com cigars team cigarsandpower.com okay there you go now we're just going to get a bunch of fucking advertisements from people like wanting to sell us boxes at $99 a piece. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, man. Let me, let me tell you something. Here, here's, here's the deal. Let me say something. Do you know how many idiots were on the road Mm -hmm. Two days ago? Yeah. <laughs> I, I had to drive in it, so yeah. <laughs> there was a plethora 
of idiots on the road Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Monday. So let me tell you this Monday. story real quick. I got a fucking story for you. So we're sitting in the office the other day, the Cigars of Our office, and we had a salesman walk in our door. God damn, really? Who are the gods of you? Yeah, a salesman walked in the door. And you know what we did? We locked the door. We locked him in, this, in the office with us. And we began chain smoking cigars, freight training. You see, what you got to do, when someone walks in the door, you're already behind the door, okay? So you got to make sure that you're always standing behind the door. And when they walk in, lock it. You don't want to do that if I walk through the door. <laughs> I throw that shit open. <laughs> that someone's going to have a broken nose. <laughs> we didn't do that thing with the annoying electron I got. Oh, you got one? I have one at home. Oh, shit. Yeah, we need, to, we need to use that. I'm telling you, we can throw it up in the ceiling. Sure, yeah. We can do it. It's freaking funny. I'm going to do it at work. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, yeah. You're going to video that one. Oh, that's going to be so good. <sighs> yeah, you're going to hear a single gunshot come from the room. <laughs> And you're gonna beat on the wall saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's the last words that they hear. <laughs> Ruthless and amazing. If there were three words to describe myself, it would be psychotic, caring, and ruthless. Not really something to say on the internet. Especially when we're trying to get people to come on the live stream and we are literally I'm sitting not really and we're ruthless. sitting in an interrogation room. I'm not really ruthless, okay? Psychotic. That's yep. what Freon does to you. First step to recovery. Fucking know anymore. You know, just fucking just can't even fucking. God damn. Fuck! I gotta adjust the thing now. I'm pretty sure someone's outside. Here's the deal. You know, I have a little Bluetooth remote. For what? To connect to the the thing and be able to like stop the video and start it. Really? Yes. This is a detonator. You know how you said that there's some things I should not say on the internet? <laughs> Oh man. Uh, so we got a cool thing in the mail last week. Or multiple things. Lapel pins that showed up in these little heroin baggies. You know, I only realized that I uploaded half of the podcast from last week. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Little lapel pins. Look at that. Maybe it? maybe it was a good thing. See it? Look at that. I need one for my suit. I'll give it after one. God damn. I will put them on my cuffs. Jesus. I'm going to get some cufflinks made. <laughs> Cigars of Valor, cuff ones, and then have 12 of them around. Have a, pin. have a fucking like. Uh, sergeant's badge for wow. cigars of valor on the side and all these sorts of things. I have a purple heart because I'm fat and the cigars have damaged me. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't even fucking know anymore. So, um, are we 
Do you think we are interested, we would be interested in talking to a cigar shop out of the state of Texas? Why not? Okay. Because I would not mind venturing to a few other states. We need to. Uh, although we got scammed on three of those fucking deals. Yeah. Which we're, we're going to find you. The mm-hmm. fuckers we're talking about. We're going to find you and we're going <laughs> to bring you in this video. Like three times on that shit. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to find these people. Bring them here. Don't we show cigars to that reviewer? Which one? Wasn't there a reviewer, a cigar reviewer that we sent? Oh, yeah, but they, I'm convinced that they just sit in a box for a year. The fuck? Before they get to them. Um, But maybe we could go to like Maryland, maybe Florida. Those seems to be our biggest followers. And maybe Colorado. You know what we need to do? Review fucking cigars. Sure. Yeah, we could do that. When did you start doing that? Because oh, we can do that. Sure. We can do that. We can do that. Because then we can name the video after the cigar and get them to do it. Therefore, then advertise our product as well. But we're reviewing the cigars. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. But you know, how many people do that? Yes, but we're unique. We're actually funny. I don't know about that. In our own heads. We're funny to us. Funny in our own way. You're These other people. deplorable. They don't cuss. They're vanilla. They're respectable. <laughs> We, on the other hand, are superior. Our degenerates. Our genetics are so low that they are superior. And you know, actually, like, it goes so low that it pops out at the top, so. He literally just confirmed what you said. No. Yeah. You hear that, Travis? The it's whispering winds. The wind. The shit. The shit winds. It means shit. They're coming. They're coming for you. The shits. The shit hawks. They're going to swoop in low, <laughs> shit on everyone, and drag you off to the fucking shit nest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Trailer Park Boys. Fantastic show. That show is gold. Yes, that is. is you know, they, they dedicated their lives to doing that show. Like, they did it for, like, 20, 30 years. Yeah, it's a fantastic show. So. But it's amazing. Um, you know what we need to do? Go to the gun range. Hmm. When? I don't know, whatever. I think. We need to go. And then fire as many rounds as we possibly can within like 12 seconds. <laughs> that angry. would piss off any range we go to. <laughs> All angry. <laughs> <laughs> what we need to do is we need to go in there and light up two cigars <laughs> while we're shooting. I mean, it wouldn't matter. They would get fucking pissed though. It's not like a fucking healthy air to breathe anyways. I lost the you what? I lost the little pack. Of fucking course you did. There it is. <laughs> is there another one down here? Yeah. It's probably one I gave you last week. I took that one. It's stuck into the ceiling of my car. Oh, God. I devalued my car for this company. We devalued the company for you. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Painful. That's hurtful, man. Mm-hmm. You remember uh, Robot Chicken? How could I forget that show? That show was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Do 
the idiots. What's the best place to pick up a good shirt? What? Kohl's. What's the what? Good suit shirt. Don't go to fucking Kohl's. Where should I go? Indochino. Where? Indochino. Who the hell is that? That's Look it up. Fucking billionaire suit place. It's not. Look it up. Indochino? Indochino. All right. Well, he better allow us to smoke cigars in his shop for giving him the shill to the three people, the three robots that actually fucking watch this. Well, uh, why don't you look it up and you can find everything out about that company. That's where I get my shit. I miss the place that we used to go to next to Calypso. Yep, it's gone though. They better have just went to a bigger warehouse. No, and it, never, it's gone. And never told anyone. People are absolute idiots. Yeah, they are. For not going there. And making that business flourish because I had like Italian suits. I'm pretty sure those suits were stolen. <laughs> yeah, they were. Really, those were really nice suits. Really fucking nice suits, and they were like a hundred bucks, eighty bucks. You get like two for one twenty. Uh, what was it called? Indochino. Gosh, Indo. Indocrine. Indo. No, I N D. Oh. I N D. Fucking English language. Stupid. O I N D O. I N D O. C H I. Indochino. Fascinating. What a name. Gosh damn, the, the nearest one is four fucking 86 nautical miles away. It's, it's, it's difficult. It's fucking difficult. No ear. You know today's Veterans Day. No shit. Happy Veterans Day, and thank you to all of our veterans who have served this great nation. Thank yeah. You. I thought that was like tomorrow or something. Hey, you know what yesterday was? What? The birthday. The Marine Corps birthday. Oh, oh cool. You know, Cigars of Valor was created to support law enforcement, and active, and Did you see where I go out? Not yet. Retired military. You need a lighter? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. They can't even fucking see us. Uh, we can see us. That means they're going to be able to see us. Well, I mean, I'm talking about when the smoke did hit, it was very difficult to see. But uh, thank everyone for that. Thank you for your service. Um, yes. yes, thank you very much. We, uh, we would not have the rights that we have today. Mm -hmm. Without it being taken away every minute. Yeah. We appreciate your hard work, even if the government never does. Fucking assholes. But yes. We appreciate you. We have the thin blue line on our flag. Um, we thought of different ways that we could have like thin green line, things like that on um, some of our labels, but it just didn't. No. Uh, but just think of think of the uh, that label, the uh, X Full series, as a contribute to, to military. military. That's why it's green. O D green. Yes, but all of our future bands, all of our future lines or series, every single band that we come out with will have the blue line on it. Every single one. Mm -hmm. To show our heritage. But yeah, thank you guys. Yes, thank you guys. Yes, thank you guys. You know, I should bring that uh, shadow box my grandpa had. Yeah, it's, it's got his medals in it. Hell yeah. I need, a, I need a better shadow box. It's like a cheap ass one. And we can actually put the medals up and show that. You wearing your grandpa stuff too? Yeah, sure. Put it up on the wall. And then we'll zoom the camera out 600 feet, and it'll just be a giant wall of all this military stuff. And then you'll see us with these little figures in the background. Yeah, just flailing our arms wildly. <laughs> yeah, right. and they can't even fucking make us out.
Uh, all, they, all they hear is. Oh, is that the hat? The cigars and that the is the hat. hat. Nice. I've been wanting to get one of these. This is the Cigars of Valor trucker hat. Actually looks really good. Travis should wear it, but instead he's got his hair hat on. He's got his toupee on. Okay. Let's go look at the hat. So this is the flat bill for anyone that's a douche like me. <laughs> anyone that drives a Subaru. Yeah, anyone that drives a Subaru, just get a flat bill. There you go. Oh. I thought it would be a little less douchey, but you know, a douche hat looks good on me. Why? Because you drive a Subaru. <laughs> I'm gonna drive a Subaru. <laughs> <sighs> well, how far are we in on this? Oh. Don't fucking forget that. I'm not. I don't even know anymore, man. God, that's gonna be hilarious. Going to that wedding with the cigars of Valor lapel on. Do it. And then if anyone makes a negative comment, treat them accordingly. Where's your company's lapel pin? Yeah, motherfucker. Does your company have a Gulfstream jet? Neither does ours. I'm sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But you ain't got fucking lapel pins. Hey, it's the small things that get people's attention. I'm not, I'm not a gold stream because they all look the same. Ours won't. It's gonna it's be gonna have black Travis's black. face on the bottom of it yeah. going. And so every time that we take off in it to fly around in a circle <laughs> and then land 30 minutes later after smoking a cigar. The fucking we fire up the jet. <laughs> Thirty grand of fuel. They cost thousands of dollars an hour to operate just to go fucking smoke a cigar. We're gonna do that one day. That is <laughs> fucking thirty sick. minute flight. We're gonna fly down to Austin and then back for a circle around the governor's building. Don't do that with the face and cigars of valor banner on the back of it. And then uh, fly back here and then land. Yeah, we'll be done with our cigar. Yeah. Uh, no, it's going to be flat black with a Cigars of Valor shield on the on the tail, the vertical stabilizer. With some lights on it. Yeah. So you're like, is that a Southwest Airlines flight? And then you're like, no, that's Cigars of Valor. It's going to be cool. But till we work up to the Gulf Stream, we'll just have to settle with the Cessna 172. So if you got one for free, you just want to throw away, we'll take it. Actually, I was looking at airplane prices lately. It went down? For anyone that is uh, into aviation like I am. You can get a 177 Cardinal cheaper than you can get a 172 now. And the 177 Cardinal is faster. And looks better. You got your pilot license stuff done, right? Working on it. It's pretty cool. Working on it. I remember one day receiving random pictures of aerial photography of Rowlett. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this? And then realized Travis was flying, mm -hmm. taking photos. Yep. Just posted it on social media. Everyone loved it because they, they don't see that view of Rowlett very often or ever. God, look at the smoke. It's like we have a fucking cloud in here. Yeah, I know. You know, it probably seeps slowly out outside. I feel sorry for the person that has shit in the unit next to us. <laughs> yeah. They're going to move out and it's going to be caked in nicotine and yeah, smell like shit. <laughs> Yellow. It's going to be delicious. Watch it be like a Lamborghini or something. <laughs> Someone's left in there for a while. Oh, man. They're going to go get it. <laughs> it's ruins. You're going to have to get a clay bar to get all the gunk off of it. That's awesome. I was like, uh, I was watching uh, uh, the Y Files. It's like they, they show different conspiracies and stuff. And one of them was spontaneous human combustion. 
Mm, that's interesting. And he was like, when the police walked in, there was a yellow film on everything in the house. And you know what the yellow film was? Fat. Human fat. Yeah, he turned into atomized goo. <laughs> disgusting. That's what happens when you are standing on top of an explosive. Anyways, moving on. Before we get delisted. What do you think of that cigar? This cigar right here is probably probably my second favorite cigar. Did you ever smoke that LFD cap five I gave you? Yes, and it kicked my ass within like a third or quarter of the way. I was smoking it and I felt like I smoked 12 cigars. I was like, damn, and I had to like put it down. Mm -hmm. I just smoked a little bit later and I couldn't finish the damn thing. That's good. That's good. That is a well fermented cigar. That cigar kicked my ass. That's true. It was, it was literally like I sat down and five minutes of smoking it, I'm just like, oh, like I couldn't go anymore. It was so good. Damn. I wouldn't have laid down after that. That was an ass kicker. Fuck! Well, from the Cigars of Valor Studios, located in Dallas, Texas. We will catch you later, you fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> you can be that mean. <laughs> we love you. Actually, go fuck yourself. I wonder if this works. Is this? Is this? Fuck. Stand by. What happened? Hold on. What, what, what has happened? It looks like shit now. What happened? I don't know. I saw the thing change when I pressed it. What, what's going? <sighs>